Hey everyone, it's Skeletor here. Uh, just going over the perfect war we just had against Celeb Society. Got a lot of new guys this war, so good for everybody. Uh, good start. Um, we're going to just try to run through all these attacks really quick. So good attack there by Dame Eloisa, one of the new members. Next we got a dragon attack by Jacob, one of our co-leaders. Just gonna opt for the zap quake. Little solid attack there. Another one by Jacob. Nice six star war for Jacob. Let's see, we have another co leader, Line of Sparta. I'm going to go here. Way to take out that bomb tower first. He's attacking pretty far down, so don't give him too much credit. We have another member, Superstar. Another dragon attack. Look at that sweeper doing that work. Well done there. We got a baby. Not brand new, but relatively new. Another zap quake dragon attack.
Nice job there, baby. Now Mike's one of the new members. No dragon attack. We're still good, guys. Level four dragons are just going to steamroll that with Town Hall Eight. We got Superstar second attack, so good job, six star war for him. Now I wouldn't recommend dropping the lightning like that after you start the attack. Definitely try to do that before it starts next time. Just to be sure you don't miss. Alright, then we got a Go Evil by Showtime. One wall break will make it through. Ka ching Demonstrating why we like Oliva so much around here. We got, a, got another Go Weaver from Big Daddy. Nice Quake spot. Moves it right up to the core. Can use bowlers on the clan castle. Pretty good choice because he's attacking down as a ton of 10. Could have done some with those wall breakers, but not too big a deal. I think he's just going to hold on to that last spell. Oh, never mind. Just to be safe. Nice job there, big daddy. I got the second attack by Showtime. And this nice anti three star base. See where the quakes are coming from. Look at that nice fuel spot. Cleans off on her own, that's no good. She can't survive. Just come out for the cleanup. Get that nice under level of uh, Archer Tower. Or Breeze Tower. Another Go Weaver there. We got Lion of Sparta attacking his equal. And this modified Town Hall 8 base. <laughs> I don't know why people like it so much, but it looks like a go-ho. Nice 
poisons. Good cold blooded entrance. It takes out that bomb tower right away and is able to dodge those three bombs. Maybe you should drop the last heal a little bit sooner. There we go. Probably a little late on there, but. No harm. I definitely want to be bringing the clan castle of hogs now with the level six. Hog Riders available, free Tom Hole Nines. A lot of extra DPS and health. There's another six star war by Line of Sparta. Nice job there. Looks like the same base again. A little different layout, but. Another go Weaver. Nice careful execution by Big Daddy. It's gonna rage right into the core. Look how quickly that goes down. Jump spell comes down into that di double giant bomb. That's a tough spot, but those golems are gonna jump right through and. Nothing's going to stop that king. <clears throat> Saved a couple wizards for the cleanup side. Maybe could have dropped those a little sooner, but who knows what he's doing. And again, there's leftover wall breakers. Nice, nice war, big daddy. Another six stars. And then we got Mephisopolis, both attacks. Quakes come down, and I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Look how much of this base is opened up. Uh, all this compartment is open to wizard fire uh, over that wizard tower, all the way up to this row of defenses right in front of that, um, the other side of that inferno tower. Those are all in range of the archer queen and the wizards. So um, that's a really good quake spot opening. He's going to be able to take out pretty much the whole core of this base. Drops those corner archers uh, to make sure the cleanup doesn't take too long. Bowlers come down. He's gonna rage right into that first inferno and those bowlers are gonna help bounce right through the town hall. They're gonna freeze comes down in that second inferno tower and it's gonna fall pretty quickly. Look at those High level heroes doing some serious work. This is where Go Weaver really shines. And you got the heroes to back it up. Great attack there. And then finally, we have. Three star on there, number one. Classic ring style base with virtually max town hall 10 defenses, besides a couple bomb towers. So, again, Quake comes down, um, and notice that that's exactly eight spaces apart. So, this is why Quakes have an eight um, tile diameter because uh, they want to be able to get through those kind of compartments. So you know, remember, guys, you can really do a lot with those quake spells, so don't just try to drop it on one wall. Now he'll be able to path right into the core. So it opens up that compartment, even though there's that weird double wall thing going on. It's BK taking a lot of fire, but it's going to be able to rage right through it. And that's just the sheer force of that level 35 BK right there. The 
We have that the golems, rollers, wizards go right into the middle, following uh, with the queen following behind them. So perfect job there. Golems taking all the fire. Now the wizards get a little trap right there, but that's not too big a deal. Got a lot of Valkyries still alive. And the Queen's Great Range is going to be able to take it out from there. And these wizards on here, uh, I don't know why they targeted that spell factory, but they're going to get that bottom tower just in time. One Valkyrie doing cleanup. And the Queen comes over just in time to finish it off. So, again, really good demonstration of the power of Go Weaver. Uh, that was our perfect war. Uh, if you like that, check out more of our videos with spooky skeletons. And stay spooky, everyone. Thank you.